During the time of the Roman Empire, a deadly animal virus called rinderpest began a rampage on the earth, which was to last for nearly two millennia, destroying countless millions of cattle and other hoofed animals and leading to famine, starvation, and untold human misery. Over the next 16 centuries, rinderpest took a massive toll. It spread rapidly, particularly during disasters and war, and it is the only animal disease credited with changing the course of history. It contributed to the fall of Rome, to extreme human deprivation during the conquest of Europe by Charlemagne, to the French Revolution, to the impoverishment of Russia, and to the colonization of Africa. In the 18th century alone, over 200 million cattle were lost in Western Europe. This devastation led to the founding of veterinary science with the establishment of the first veterinary school in Lyon, France in 1762. Cattle trade in the 19th century continued to spread the disease by sea as well as by land. One particularly severe outbreak entered Africa in 1887 at the Red Sea port of Massawa, spreading west to the Atlantic and south to the Cape. Over 90% of the cattle and game animals perished as a result. Pastoral tribes such as the Maasai were devastated and so weakened as to forever change the balance of power. As rinderpest continued to spread during the first half of the 20th century, it became clear that livestock production and the stability of human food supply would remain at risk in the developing world as long as this dreaded plague continued to exist. But in the mid-20th century, the disease would finally meet its match in the 1999 World Food Prize Laureate. Born on the Lincolnshire coast of England in 1923, he was raised on a small farm and developed an early interest in veterinary science. After convincing his father that he should break away from the farming tradition his family embraced, our laureate entered the Royal Veterinary College in London and graduated in 1944. Toward the end of World War II, he joined the Royal Army Veterinary Corps and was posted to Kenya. After the war, following a brief period as a lecturer in London, our laureate entered the colonial veterinary service of the British government and began his journey back to Africa, to Kenya, then Nigeria, and finally back to Kenya again, where he entered the Muguga Laboratory of the East African Veterinary Research Organization. Here, he spent more than 15 years working on rinderpest and other animal diseases, an effort which would culminate with the breakthrough that dramatically improved animal health worldwide for the centuries to come. Our laureate discovered that a vaccine to counter rinderpest might be created by growing viruses in monolayer cultures of cells on glass. Methods already made available for research on polio, varicella, and measles by the Harvard Group, headed by John F. Enders, a Nobel Prize winner. In 1956, at the Muguga Laboratory, with assistance from able lab technicians, his painstaking efforts finally paid off and tissue culture rinderpest vaccine became a reality. This new vaccine offered new hope to the world, particularly nomadic pastoral people and small farmers in developing countries. Highly effective, the new vaccine was also economical and easy to produce. Suddenly, the scourge of rinderpest was halted and then reversed and nearly eliminated with only pockets of the virus now remaining in a few countries. The economic and humanitarian benefits derived over the past 40 years as a result of our laureate's discovery are immense. The Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations estimates that from 1965 to 1998, additional production of milk, meat, and hides in India alone amounted to $289 billion. Estimates for Africa during the same period come to $47 billion. These are just two examples among dozens worldwide. With the global population now surpassing 6 billion people, our planet is facing continuing challenges to food security in the 21st century. Availability of healthy cattle to perform work and to provide milk, meat, and hides will be a particularly crucial element 
both in terms of feeding rapidly growing urban areas and increasing family income and stabilizing employment for millions and millions of small farmers and nomadic pastoral people in developing countries. And thanks to our laureate's stunning achievement, these healthy animals will be available, for Rinderpest now stands on the verge of being totally eradicated by the year 2010. The World Food Prize Foundation acknowledges this tremendous contribution to animal health and the world food supply. It is therefore with great pride that we introduce this year's laureate. The man who was honored on September 22nd at the Royal Society in London and recognized by Her Majesty the Queen and the Prime Minister. The man whose work was acclaimed on September 24th at the World Veterinary Congress in Lyon, France. The man who is being celebrated today, October 14th in Des Moines, Iowa. Dr. Walter Plowright, the 1999 World Food Prize Laureate.